knew from about the age of 12, 13 that I would be um, a vicar in the church and I wasn't even going to church. I'm Sam Foster, I'm the Fresh Expressions Pioneer Vicar for Scarborough Deanery. But my mum always had faith so I was brought up knowing that Christianity was special. Um, but not, didn't really feel that it was for me. Um, but I knew from about the age of 12, 13 that I would be um, a vicar in the church and I wasn't even going to church. Um, it was very odd and I know how weird that sounds. <laughs> it was a feeling, it was um, dreams and what other people were saying to me as well. But um, one Sunday morning, my mum, because we just moved into a, a new area in Middlesbrough, that's where I'm from, and um, my mum said to me she'd like to go to church. So I'm very close to my mum, I'm the youngest of three girls, and I thought, well, I'll go along with her, you know. And, but I didn't really want to, and I remember, as though it was yesterday, looking over my shoulder to see if any of my friends could see me while I darted through the church doors. And um, it was just what I expected church to be like. Um, predominantly older people, a few um, children, not people my age. Um, traditional worship, but it was lovely, really nice. Um, but there were a group of elderly ladies, um, but very vibrant elderly ladies, and one in particular called Ethel, who just welcomed me and loved me unconditionally through um, some difficult teenage years. And they made faith real to me, particularly Ethel. There was something about her, despite the fact that she was in her late 70s and I was like 14, 15, there was something about her that said to me, wow, I want to be like that, what is it? And then later on, when I became a Christian, I realised that uh, she was pointing to something beyond herself, Jesus. And um, for me, that was evangelism and discipleship. And I think that experience has really helped me with my faith and how important it is to, to share and get alongside other people. And that's been a huge part of my ministry as well. So during that time, I explored the possibility of ordination, but actually that exploration was a lot about wrestling with God and running away from it. So from about the age of 14 to 19, I didn't share with anybody what I was going through. And I can laugh about it now, but at the time, it felt like I was having some kind of emotional breakdown, nervous breakdown. Because who in the right mind thinks of, you know, at that young age of becoming a vicar? Um, and I didn't know about any of the problems going on in the Church of England with women's ministry. The only woman that I, the first woman vicar that I met was the vicar of Dibley on TV. <laughs> How do I tell them that um, I'm, got, I'm possibly going to be um, training for ministry in the Church of England? You know, it's just a completely different mm. route and life and everything. And so it took me three years to pluck up the courage. Yeah. So I would say that I became a Christian because of other people and seeing mm. the gospel lived out yeah. um, more than actually sitting and reading the Bible. But it was through probably Bible notes and then teaching and courses that I got to, to love the Bible mm. and how that could be applied to my life and to other people's lives and how it could give people hope. At Theological College, um, for in my second year, um, actually this is probably the first time I'm really talking about it, but I struggled with, um, it just came out of the blue, depression and panic attacks. And um, I tried to hide that from, you know, from the community and um, actually I think now that experience has helped me to, to minister to people and to acknowledge what I was going through at the time. Um, and it hasn't really affected me since, but I'm very much aware of how difficult it was mm. and stuff at the time. But I would say not just because of the depression, but the whole like community and, you know, this bubble of Christian living um, or trying to be community in the Vicar Factory. I let out, you know, I was ready to pack my bags every term. <laughs> but looking back, I think it was a great privilege um, to be able to train in a Christian community for three years because it was just so new to me, it was another world. Um, but you don't realise that 
at the time and there's a lot of things you take for granted. There was something within me which has always been a pioneer, so always wanting to try new things. And I really loved the, the, the ministry aspect of it, but when I felt most um, called to be with people who weren't necessarily coming to church on a Sunday, so any opportunity that I could get to be in the community, whether that was in the schools or the army barracks or um, even the residential care homes with you know staff and patients or um, anywhere where I was outside of the church and if I could have dreamt my dream job I just felt it didn't exist but I'm doing it now <laughs> so I love my work here in Scarborough um, because of the people who are just so um, open to new things and it's not just the practical needs obviously that is a starting point um, serving people um, because that's what Jesus did but we do want to give them um, hope for the future as well through faith. So we're just a group of Christians um, meeting the needs of the community but at the same time sharing faith as well so we go where there's a need.